the silver buck hunter chase only two runners here the match race between martin Needham's cirque and silver coup for james shea and off they go over three miles two cirque the early leader from silver coup on that one's inside they've got 18 fences left to, to jump here at barbary castle in the rain in the third hunter chase of the day the third in week three uh, there's one more after this so Cirque the leader from the silver coup in second it's Martin Needham and James Shea as they come to the first jump so Cirque traveling well enough in front that's the light brown horse in the red colors they jump the first Cirque over well so is silver coup and he's only about two lanes first from the first to the second the rain comes down here at Barbary Castle and Silver Cirque is the leader from Silver Coup. They jump the next. A good jump by both. Cirque the leader from James Shea's Silver Coup in second. The black horse with the green colours and the red cap. As they travel well, both of them travelling well. Yeah, Barbary Castle. At jump three. In a three mile two handicap chase. A match race between James Shea and Martin Needham. So Cirque going one in front from Silver Q in second. They jump the next and a slow jump by a Silver Q in second. And our Cirque to gain a length in the air. And Martin Needham Cirque takes them along. So last season's Grand National Woodian trainer, Martin Needham, from James Shea, who has also won the Grand National in the past. So two previous Grand National winning trainers competing in this match race. Cirque the leader from the Silver Q in second. Yeah, at Barbary Castle. The rain coming down and it's not much change in the order. Obviously in a match race and Cirque just slowing up about the jockey on Cirque. Martin Needham, Cirque the leader. Slow jump by Cirque but the Silver Q was also slow in the air so no change in the distance between first and second. Martin Needham Cirque, a comfortable leader from Silver Q in second. They jump the next, a slow jump by Cirque. Uh, definitely better in the air with Silver Q. He's closed up by two lengths to be second. Well, he is second, there's only two horses, I suppose. So Cirque the leader from Silver Q in second. Yeah, the Hunter Chase at Barbary Castle. Cirque takes him along from Silver Q in second. Good jump by Cirque. Uh, gains about a length in the air from Silver Q, who's back about five lengths off this leader. There's still a long way to go though, still ten fences left to jump. They're both still standing. Uh, Martin Needham had a win in the first uh, week where he was the only was standing. So Cirque, the leader from Silver Q. Five lengths clear. Cirque travelling one in front. About six length gear of Silver Q in second. Martin Needham's Cirque. Comfortable leader. Hit Barbary Castle, jumps it well, and so does Tudor Silver Q, who's now closed to within five lengths of Cirque. So Cirque for Martin Needham comes to the next, jumps it well. Slow jump at the back by Silver Q, and Silver Q is in danger of allowing Cirque to get away here. Cirque traveling really well in front from Silver Q, who's now about seven lengths back in second. Um, he really needs to keep tabs on the leader before he gets away because there's only two horses, and I doubt Cirque is going a breakneck in speed, breakneck in speed in front. In fact, he isn't. And Cirque is clear from Silver Q in second. Those green colors of James Shea about five lengths behind the red colours of Martin Needham as they come to the next and a slow jump by Cirque allows Silver Coup to move up to on the quarters of Cirque and now the race complexion has totally changed. So Cirque who was some six or seven lengths clear has now been joined in front by Silver Coup. Not sure if the jockey and Cirque has given him a breather or, or, or if uh, Silver Coup has just moved closer. But Silver, Silver Coup is travelling really well on the outside though. And it's Silver Coup has breezed up to Cirque. Cirque on the inside, Silver Coup on the outside. 
in the Ante Chasio Barbary Castle and on the outside it's Silver Coup in those green colours you have to say is going the better Cirque is trying to kick again in the front but it's still seven furs left to go Cirque and Silver Coup are right together with six furs left to go five left to jump it's Cirque in front from Silver Coup in second Come to the next at Barbary Castle, Silver Coup on the outside. You've got to say Silver Coup is travelling well. I don't know why the Duke is looking around. There is nothing but Silver uh, but Cirque in the race. And now Silver Coup comes to the front for the first time. So Silver Coup travelling really well in front, pushed along in second is Cirque. And at this stage, you've got to say that Silver Coup is long odds on to win this race. So Silver Coup jumps the next from Cirque in second. Silver Coup. The jockey looks like he's still got a double handful on Silver Coup. Cirque is being pushed along in second. And now the jockey says go and Silver Coup. And it looks like Silver Coup is starting to extend from Cirque. So Silver Coup starts to draw away from Cirque. He has gone three, four lengths clear. And Cirque has got no answer to Silver Coup. And James Shea's Silver Coup has drawn clear of Cirque. Silver Coup's gone clear, they've got two left to jump and I think the dangers are in front of him and not behind now so Silver Coup comes to the penultimate, Silver Coup jumps it well, Cirque behind that is, has no answer to the leader and Silver Coup now, the jockey hands and heels, it's just a training exercise now, Silver Coup well clear, comes to it, just has to pop the loss, a bad mistake by Silver Coup but it's not going to make any difference, Silver Coup's going to win the hunt to chase for James Shea well clear of Cirque in second so Silver Coup wins at Barbary Castle for James Shea Martin Eden back in second for Cirque and that's the third race for Barbary Castle James Shea picking up a winner in the Hunter Chase with Silver Coup and Cirque the long time leader had no answer to Silver Coup when he swooped on by so James Shea wins the Silver Buck Hunter's Chase